Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 7, Part 2, The Serpent Isle. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been around, thank you for watching. We are on our second episode of Serpent Isle. We just landed here on Serpent Isle itself. Unfortunately, a magical storm transported our items and companions around. We luckily met back up with Shimino, who is here with us, right here. And we are headed towards Monitor after being told by a priestess that we have to find our companions and a couple special items in order to fight the evil powers out there. So we're continuing our adventure as the Avatar. Let's get a traveling. Let's hit the right buttons, Grug. Good job. All right, we got a dude over here walking around. Let's try talking to him. Halt! Who art thou, and what is thy business? Um, I am the Avatar. Who? Never heard of thee. Another stranger, most suspicious. There have not been many travelers recently. Uh, strangers? The colored storms and goblins have kept most people off the roads, and so tis unusual to see strangers and monitor. Suspicious, in fact. Perhaps thou art in league with the Enchanter, who materialized in the center of town. We promptly jailed him. But the uproar interrupted the funeral ceremonies. Well, that's a lot. How about the Enchanter? I'll just show an unusual interest in this man. Speak to Lord Marston. I shall say no more to thee about the matter. Storms? Dost thou not see the storm which passed by here so recently? Even a knight must hide from the fury of nature. Hast thou noticed the lightning? It comes in many colors, and it has sinister magical properties. What funeral? Tis a sad affair. One of our patrols was ambushed, and the goblins slew nearly all of them. Only Templar survived to return. Worse yet, the patrol was led by the champion knight, and she remains lost. We must assume that she is slain, and the helm of monitor taken. Oh, I got a yawn coming out while I'm reading. Sorry, everybody. Uh, helm of monitor. The helm is more than symbolic. Yes, the champion knight wears it, but it stands for something. It was once the property of the goblin chieftain who merely, nearly conquered monitor. And now that they have it again, we are in dire trouble. The champion knight? We are lost without Astrid, for she was a warrior of warriors. Only the bravest knight can be the champion of Monitor, and we compete constantly for the title, and this keeps us fit to battle the goblin hordes. Astrid was unique among us, for she has held the title for nearly three years, in the north, they say that women are weak, but not in Monitor. Goblins? Foul creatures, they are the bane of our existence. We are at war with the goblins, and have been for many generations. If it were not for the pikemen patrolling the roads, one could never travel anywhere. Travel? Why would anyone bother with going anywhere beyond Monitor? This is where courage thrives. Out there, frivolity reigns. Moonshade is nothing more than a city of mages, and who needs magic? It pales before a sharply honed sword. As for the fawn, as for fawn, the place is obsessed with strange customs, and they worship beauty. Now how can that compare to courage? How about the roads? Dost thou know nothing? Why, we Monitorians have rebuilt the ancient highways and added new trails and byways. Each of our commands supplies the men to guard the towers which protect the trade routes. But it is all foolishness. Vaughn Tower hath been conquered, and the goblins will not stop there. Well, open the gate. Art thou friend or foe? I'm a friend. I do not know thou art friend. I shall let thee in, but thou must have an escort until thou hast spoken to Lord Marston. Thou canst find him at the crematorium. 
Mourning for the dead. Follow the road north. Remember, we shall be keeping an eye upon thee. Well, he must be opening the gate, which we can't see. In here? Yes, there's the gate. Hello, pikemen. So we're here in Monitor. Looks like we've got a field. Um, I'm going to show you guys here. So here's the map that I currently have. I talked about this last episode, but I've got a map I'm using. So basically, I've got a map here that's a map of the whole world. It's a similar map to the one that we used for Ultima 7. And so if we zoom in, there's all this stuff. I have no idea what any of that is. Um, but over here is where we are, town of Monitor. Here we go. So... Just so you can kind of see what I'm working with here from a map perspective while we play through. So let's get traveling. Looks like there's some caves here. Oh, interesting. There's a little spot over here too. I wonder what that is. There's so much to see. So much to see. All right, back to it. Let's uh, boop, get that map out of here. And now let's travel on. Traitor? Who just yelled traitor over here? That was weird. Why are you following? Hello. We lost our guards. Where did our pikemen go? Wait a minute. Shouldn't there be some pikemen with us? Like following us around? Did they disappear? There's the gateman. What in the world? I go away for one minute to look at the map, and the whole world has we, we've lost our our guards. Okay, well that's fine. Let's get up here and talk to Martin. This girl is following us around here. Let's give her a talk. I'm not as young as I look. Dost thou know how hard it is to be this small for one's age? I am 14 years old, nearly old enough to be a knight of Monitor, but everyone thinks that I'm a little girl. Um, sorry, I mean welcome to Monitor. My name is Cantra. Knight? I have trained for a long time to become a knight. There is nothing in the world so wonderful as being a knight. My father was a knight, and a very good one, but he is dead now. When I turn 15, I can take the knight, the test of knighthood, and become a grand warrior. Huh. What's the test of knighthood? I have been training for the test for mine entire life. Anything that thou needs to know, I can tell thee. It truly isn't so dangerous that thou dost know the secrets, and Schmed is nothing to worry about. What would thou like to know? Uh, permission? If thou dost wish to take the knight's test, thou must ask Lord Marston for his permission. Uh, Schmed? Oh, he is the old man who administers the test. I do not like him much. He looks at me oddly sometimes. He will not let thee into the dungeon until thou dost give him the password. Only Lord Marston can give the password to thee. Schmed also disarms thee, since thou canst only enter the knight's test with a mace and leather armor, and no companions may accompany thee. Uh, secrets? These actually are not secrets, since everyone in Monitor knows how knight's test doth operate. To become a knight, thou must survive the dungeon there. Simply remember these tips. Do not look back, or the explosions will overcome thee. Move swiftly at first. Look forwards. Look upwards as well is from side to side. There are clues that would otherwise escape thee. Be prepared to climb. Timing is essential. The fiery missiles can be outrun if thou dost watch carefully. Use thine hands to search as well as thine eyes, for some things are invisible. The last chamber is kept a secret, but I would wager it is as easy as the rest of the dungeon if thou dost keep a calm head and steady nerves. Location? The test of knighthood takes place in the Night Mountains, just north of the city. 
Thou must follow the trail that leads west from the highway. But beware of goblins. They come ever closer to the city of late. Even the bravest warriors can be slain if ambushed. Well, tell me nothing more. Very well. Uh, your father? Everyone says he might be alive. But it hath been weeks since he disappeared, and I am old enough to face the truth. He will be on patrol near Monitor. Oh, he was on patrol near Monitor. He told the pikemen that he had found something suspicious, and he went to look, and he never returned. It must have been the goblins. I refuse to weep, but I know that the first dozen goblins I slay shall be for him. Uh, training? I am strong, and I am ready. The goblins will be no match for me. I have trained well. If thou dost need a trainer, I can recommend one. Everyone says that Shazana is the best trainer, but she is such a tyrant. Ever since my father died, Kaladin hath been my trainer. He is big and loud and sometimes dumb, but he doth have a good heart. Well, goodbye then. Oh, I hope thou dost attempt the knight's test, and when thou dost, please come back to tell me about it. Okay. Farewell. Slay a goblin. So, when you talk of training, do we have any... Yeah, so... We have some training points that we can spend if we talk to a trainer. I'm going to have to re-look up how that works. Um, as if I remember correctly, talking to trainers increases your stats using your training points. It's how I remember the game working. But on we go. So I happen to know, because I've been here before, this is the crematorium. And we know that by looking at our runes. So if we compare the runes that we have here to what's here on screen, we'd be able to read out that says crematorium. Now let's do a save before we talk to a Marston. Call it active two, I guess. I'm worried about the guards being randomly gone. That has me concerned. Head on in here. Do a little funeral tune. Hello, sir. Say here. I am Renfrey the Cremator, and there is a funeral in progress. Lords Marston, Spector, Brendan, and Kaladin are all in the crypts, paying their last respects. So, in the crypts, maybe back through this curtain? Or through here. Let's look. Back here. No, we just have a bed. Well, while we're here, what do we got? An urn with ashes. He's keeping someone's ashes. That's concerning. Uh, this is a the crematorium machine. Got some other urns with ashes. What's back here? A pedestal. Some pillars. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's head on back. Looks like that's probably them down there. Probably those three. Oh, that's whoever yelled traitor. There's something going on back here. What's up, you all? This is no traitor, only rumor. What's happening? Greeting, stranger. I am Lord Marston. Thou hast come to the city at a grievous hour. We are here to entomb the ashes of this brave pikeman, Grote, as well as to mourn the loss of our knight champion. Astrid was the finest knight that Monitor ever had. If the goblins ambushed her patrol, they slew all but one of the pikemen and took Astrid's body back to their camp to be feasted upon and used to make their sickening trophies, no doubt. When the reinforcements came, they were mere moments too late. They managed to rescue Grote, but his injuries were too severe. Not even our healer, Harma, Harma or Karma, could save him. Damn the goblins, they should be exterminated. 
What business is thou have with me, stranger? Um, well, we get a lot. Um, let's ask about Astrid. Canst thou imagine the horrors of being devoured alive? She was a masterful warrior and deserved a finer death than this. Understand, stranger, that Marston and this woman were bedmates. Well, you probably didn't just need to tell the stranger that. There is none to replace her, and certainly none able to reclaim the helm of Monitor from the goblins. Uh, Knight Champion? Knight Champion is the most revered title in Monitor. More than Lord, to be Knight Champion is to be the finest warrior in the land. To hone their skills, our knights meet daily on the list field to spar. Thus, they demonstrate their martial prowess. From success in tournament and in battle, the knight champion is determined. He or she is privileged to wear the helm of Monitor. Uh, what duties? I am the lord of Monitor, the city of knights. There are three bodies of knights in the city. No command is better than another, for all warriors are equal. As the leader of the Leopards, this is my year to rule Monitor. Oh, okay. Leopards. We are the peacemakers. The bears and the wolves always quarrel, but we stop them from wringing each other's necks. We bring balance to the community. It is not always glorious to be a leopard, but we are proud to do our duty. Ah, well, who are the wolves and bears? The prosperity of Monitor is due to the foresight of the wolves. They have forced us to reach out to our fellow man. The wolves repaired the ancient highway and added new roads to link the three cities. They built the guard towers. Brendan is their lord. The wolves are smart, preferring cunning over brute force. And how about the bears? The bears have saved the city again and again. They never forget that we live under siege, that the goblins could always attack. The city walls were constructed by the bears. They are tough, strong, powerful warriors. Kaladin is their lord. Ah, Kaladin was the trainer, right, for her? Maybe? A command. Every citizen in the town must become a knight of Monitor, or be banished when they reach the age of 15. Oh, so that lady who's 14, she is very close. The knights are organized into three war bands, which are known as commands. The bears, the wolves, and the leopards. As thou hast doubt noted, our tattoos mark us according to our command. All right. A list field. Thou canst hardly miss the list field. Tis the walled field in the south part of town. There is no shortage of opponents, especially if thou dost go there in the late morning or afternoon. Even strangers like thyself are welcome to spar. Tis good preparation for the test of knighthood. Uh, test of knighthood? One cannot be a knight, nor can the title be bestowed for money or influence. Only a worthy warrior can be a knight. To test the worthiness of those who sought knighthood, a special dungeon was prepared. If one can survive knight's test, then one is ready for knighthood. Tis an honor to become a knight of Monitor. Yet, tis also a heavy responsibility. There are many enemies in the land. Um, responsibility. One cannot shirk one's responsibilities after becoming a knight. Thy command might call thee to tower duty, or to scout the goblins. There is nothing worse than deserting thy command. In time of crisis, thy place is here in Monitor. For instance, young knight Wilfred hath left Monitor to investigate the strange death of his father. Such nonsense. He is needed here with his brother knights. How about the knight's test? The dungeon lies north of town, in the mountains. At the entrance, a knight named Schmed awaits the hopeful warriors. He can explain the rules of the test to thee, or thou couldst speak with Kaladin. Tis Kaladin's duty to instruct knight candidates. Uh, bedmates? Yes, Astrid and I were bedmates. I will not say we were lovers, for we were also warriors and comrades in arms, and we knew that any time either one of us took the battlefield might have been the last time we could have seen each other. I loved her, but we were not in love. I shall always remember her. As shall I. What was that 
What was that thou saidest of Brendan? I think Brendan's got a little mmm going on with uh, Astrid, or did. What? Oh, nothing. Merely mentioning that we shall all miss her presence. She was a fine warrior. Uh, the Helm of Monitor. It is a sacred item once belonging to the goblins. It was what gave their ancient leader, Gernadur, the power to build the Goblin Horde. When our forefathers killed Gernadur, the helm was claimed for Bonator. It hath such been worn by the Knight Champion. We need to reclaim it, else the Goblins shall again build their horde and invade this great city. Well, we can probably take care of that. Raid the Goblins. I see no reason to discuss this matter with someone who is not even a knight. We need to become a knight. Uh, Gern... Gern or er, Gern or dear, if thou dost wish to learn more of this evil race and its history, speak to Templar. He is an expert on the subject. Goblins, I vow to war upon them until the end of the world. There shall be no end to my vengeance upon the goblins. They have robbed, pillaged, and murdered our people since our ancestors came here centuries ago. They delight in kidnapping our women and eating them alive. Well, that's not good. In the end, tis either men or goblins. Both of us cannot dwell here. Uh, the Enchanter? It was most disrespectful, the way that Enchanter did interrupt our memorial service. The white-haired wizard appeared on top of the cremator, cremator in the most reverent part of the ceremony. I ordered him jailed. We have very strict rules here in Monitor. Could this be our friend Yolo, my lord? Then thou shouldst visit the criminal at jail. We have our hands full in his town with the goblins, and we do not need such pranksters and monitor. Um, ancestors? Our people fled from their homeland when an evil tyrant united the kingdoms and sought to force his philosophy upon them. Oh, Lord British, you've done it again. So we set sail from Susaria and led beyond the serpent pillars by a mage named Erstrom, we came to the Serpent Isle. This land was deserted then, settled only by goblins and covered with the ruins of a mysterious ancient serpentine civilization. Ooh, uh, Erstrom. He was a wild-eyed man, driven by his thirst for knowledge and his need for the freedom to pursue it. It is said that in his studies and experimentations, he did discover things that drove him insane. Others said it was the loss of a woman who was his true love that drove him mad. Today, he is known as the Mad Mage. His name is most often spoken in hushed whispers. Hmm. Ruins? Thou dost... Now to see them across the land, left behind by the evil creatures which once dwelled in this place. That fellow Craig could tell thee more. He is most fond of talking, taking long walks in distant places, and often sees strange things. Uh, the tyrant. He was an evil man, and knight and mage alike rebelled against his tyranny. So our ancestors fled here and founded the three cities. British was his name. Lord British, he called himself. But we call him Beast British. Um, I serve him. Say nothing. Um, you gotta be honest through the Avatar. I serve Lord British. What? I should have known that evil tyrant would yet live. Beware, no servant of the beast shall be aided by any knight of Monitor. Be gone! Oh no! Oh no! Really? Okay. Well, we've just learned that we can't be. Um. Oh man, really? Well, we've just learned that we can't be uh, truthful here. That's upsetting. Talk to this guy again. Storms are still happening. We already talked to him, I guess. Oh, man. 
all that dialogue. Don't worry, we're gonna have to. We're gonna quickly click through it. It's all you can do. All you can do, man. I can't believe they have a. If you talk to this guy, it's the end of time. All right. We did this conversation tree. We did this. We asked about this. We asked about this. Uh, we asked about the field. We asked about the test of knighthood. We asked about responsibilities. The knight's test again. We asked about this guy. We asked about being bedmates. Uh, we asked about duties. Uh, yes, no command is better than the others. We asked about the leopards, the wolves, the bears, command. We asked about the enchanter, goblins, ancestors. Erstrom, Ruins, Tyrant, here we go, say nothing, uh, Cesaria, this new land was originally to be called New Cesaria, but it became known as the Serpent Isle upon the discovery of various ruins and mysterious ancient serpent writings, we know little else of the race that left its mark here. Uh, the three cities. Three great cities were founded by those who fled the tyrant. Moonshade, Fawn, and Monitor. Moonshade is a city of mages. Fawn is a city that worships beauty. As for Monitor, tis the city thou art in now. Tis a city based on courage. Uh, Beast British. That tyrant, Beast British, tried to force his bent philosophical virtues upon our ancestors. His magic depends greatly upon illusion. The moon mages dismiss the value of truth. As worshippers of beauty, the people of Fawn saw little worth in unconditional love. We of Monitor feel that courage stands above his other virtues. Let's change the subject. Hmm. Uh, ask permission. None can take the test of knighthood without permission of the Lord of Malator. Dost thou seek my permission? Uh, yes. Very well. Schmed will ask thee the password. Tell him this. Courage is the soul of life. Okay, well, i got to write that down on my notes here. Uh, you'll hear a little bit of clicking. We'll see how loud the keyboard is. But uh, password for night test. Uh, courage is the soul of life. We'll need that later on, I tell you what. Perfect. Goodbye. But why hast thou come to our town? What is thy business here? Perhaps he's a spy for the goblins. Now, I do not agree with all this talk of a spy in our midst. Do not let these rumors divide our city, Kaladin. Yet, there was that other suspicious stranger, the fat sage, whom I threw out of town. And that scholar, a woman with fine bone structure, but a little too old to pleasure me. Could he be speaking of Yolo's wife, the good lady Gweno? And do not forget the enchanter who appeared in the midst of the funeral services for our deceased pikemen. Warriors, be still. There is no spy and monitor, and I refuse to hear more of this. There is no spy, no lie. Ooh, uh, let's see. Let's talk, since they're here... Uh, let's, um, let's save. <laughs> now that we are not, uh, being kicked out of town for being friends with Lord British. And then, let's talk to this dude. You, come talk to me. I am Brendan, stranger. Uh, duties. I am the leader of the Command of the Wolf. Like all the wolves, I am a warrior of cunning as well as strength. I like his mustache. When I recover the helm of monitor from the goblins, then my prowess will be known to all, 
and I shall become the next champion knight of Monitor. Then glory will be mine, and the tails will truly fall on me. Oh, ladies, not tails. But I should not be speaking with thee until thou dost become a knight of Monitor. Speak with Marston about that. Okay, so we gotta speak to Marston about that. How about this dude here? Greetings, my lord. I am Spector, treasurer of Monitor. He's got a weird little... Is he a souk doctor? Is he... Is he being conditioned he's safe to work on the Emperor? Man, Dune is such a good book. Um, let's see here. Uh, duties. Finally, I do so many things. I am Monitor's treasurer. Lord Marston may order things done, but I must find a way to pay for it all. I handle the books and the paperwork, and I'm the local money exchanger. I also collect and administer the taxes. Frankly, I'm not much of a fighter, even though I am a knight. Taxes? Our pikemen patrol the major roads connecting Monitor with Fawn and Sleeping Bull, and man the guard towers. In better times, caravans traveled these routes, and we collected a fat reward for merchants eager for our protection. But now the rumors of a gathering goblin invasion have scared the travelers off the roads. Frankly, this is nonsense. Uh, invasion... The Knights of Monitor have repelled such goblin aggression successfully in the past, and they shall do so again. Uh, knight. Well, I dutifully passed the test of knighthood when I was 15, but frankly, not everyone was born to be a knight. I admit it. What I am is an intellectual. Other knights may scoff, but I don't care. I might be an easy target on the list field, but I debate. But in a debate, I'm a killer. Perhaps thou shouldst consider taking the test of knighthood. It is not so difficult with proper training. We citizens are so much nicer to thee when thou art a knight, rather than a stranger. We distrust outsiders. Uh, ooh. Uh, enchanter. Oh, thou must be speaking of that wild rogue mage that was recently arrested trying to disrupt Groat's funeral. I believe he said his name was Yolo. Thou shouldst speak with Lord Marston. He dealt with him. Uh, test of knighthood? Tis actually quite easy. Do not believe what the knights will tell thee. Frankly, if I can pass it, anyone can. If thou desirest to know more, I would suggest speaking with Kaladin. He is the instructor for young knight candidates. Also, thou couldst speak with little Cantra. She is preparing to take the test next month and is full of information. Uh, exchange coins? To barter coins, I charge a small fee of the money exchange. Dost thou agree? Uh, yes. What coin dost thou desire? Okay, monetary, gilders, valari, or gold coins. I don't want any of those. Gold coins, we'll say. What coin dost thou exchange? Valari. I can give thee one gold coin for every two valari thou hast. Dost thou agree to pay my rate? No. Thou will find no better rates. Dost thou wish to exchange more coins? No. Okay. So we can get different coins. I bet you that each of the cities probably has a different coin. Hey, there's our guard. What about this guy? That's just a paladin just hanging out over here. He'll have words with me. Oh, it's not just a paladin. It's Dupre. Grugtar, I thought I would never find thee. With that strange storm struck, there was a flash, and then I found myself in a wilderness. Fearing to be slain by the goblins patrolling the woods, I instead took shelter in this walled city, but these pikemen insist on escorting me to their leader. That is all right. If thou art with my friend here, thou needst not speak with me. Hey, goodbye. Before we go any farther, Avatar, I think we should take stock of our supplies. That blasted storm exchanged all of mine equipment for useless refuse, even mine enchanted shield. We cannot hope to survive long without the proper equipment. Perhaps if we can find where this rubbish came from, we can find our good equipment. I shall prepare a list. Well, thanks. I have already begun one. Then I shall add to it. All right, so we got our buddy here is back. What's he got in his hands here? Uh, a blue egg. Well, let's put this all in the garbage bag, if it'll fit. Okay, he's got a shield. He's got 
some regular gauntlets. Let's um, let's put these gauntlets on the avatar because he's awesome. Let's give these leather gloves to our buddy here. I don't see a weapon. No weapon. He does have those leather gloves I just gave him. And, uh, some black boots and some leather leggings. A shield of Monitor, so one of the local shields. He's got a leather helmet. That's good. Uh, what's in his backpack here? Ah, uh, we got some sausages. We got some money. And we got a bottle. Uh, let's do this. Let's put... Uh, Shimino, you are king of our food here. So why don't you take this food... Uh, no weapon, though. I guess we'll give him our dagger. Well, before we do, put this pumice stone in our bag of garbage. Uh, and then we'll give him our dagger. So he's got something to stab things with. We'll take his money. Pull all the money together. Looks like it stacks and stacks of a hundred. Okay, that's helpful to know. All right, well, we got to pray back. Now, there was another guy, a guy named Kaladin that was here. We have a Paladin, Brendan, Pike Dupre is right here. Where's the other guy? Am I just blind? Ah, I've seen the monitor before. Thou art new here. Welcome. Uh, what's your name? I am called Kaladin, after my own grandfather. He was a champion knight. And if I ever discover who has his urn, I shall wring their neck. Canst thou imagine someone stealing the ashes of the dead? Wait! There was an urn of ashes inside that guy's, um, dresser. Um, ashes of the dead. I am not superstitious, mind thee, but I do believe that a man's ashes are sacred. They represent his soul, his heart, and his honor. To know that my grandfather's ashes have been taken from the crypts. Crypts. The ashes of the dead are kept in the mountain ca caves, where wild beasts cannot defile the urns. Renfrey is the caretaker there. If thou dost desire to pay thy respects to the dead, thou shalt no doubt encounter him there. Honor. Nothing is more important than one's honor. I am a valiant man, and I can promise thee three things. I shall never surrender my sword to my foe. My promised word shall never be broken, and fear is beneath me. I refuse to let the creeping stink of fright soil my mind. I shall always be fearless. Change our subject here. Uh, duties. I am the leader of the Command of the Bear. The bears are the bravest, most virile warriors in Monitor. Courage is our name. Do not smirk. The Command of the Bear is unmovable. The goblins dare not assault Monitor, for they know we are here. I am also one of the best combat traders in the land, shouldst thou need aid. Champion Knight. The Champion Knight of Monitor is the one who hath won the right to wear the Helm of Courage. Currently, the helm is in the hands of the goblins. They took the helm when they slew Astrid, our last champion knight. The helm must be recovered, and Astrid must be avenged. Command. The knights of monitor each serve a particular command. Each command exposes its own unique military strategy. Bears. The bear command follows a strategy of protection. We are concerned with protecting our home and making it impregnable thereby giving us the perfect base from which to give any sort of military operation a successful launch. Courage. Our city was founded on the principle of courage. Valor is the virtue we follow. If one cannot show his own prowess in everything undertaken, then one is not worthy to be a knight of Monitor. Goblins. The wretched beast, I suppose thou hast heard of the ambush at Fawn Tower. They do not fight fair. Poor Astrid, she was an inspiring warrior, as well as a lusty wench. Damn, but she could kill goblins. The wolves and leopards are useless in a crisis like this, but the bears shall exact revenge from the goblins. And if I ever find out who betrayed that patrol... Uh, Fawn Tower? 
The Pikemen of Monitor are the guardians of Serpent Isle. Our three towers protect the Serpent Highway and defend against goblin invasions. Besides the tower here, there is a second at Sleeping Bowl. The third tower was near Fawn and hath been overrun by goblins. Uh, useless. Worse than useless. Why, the leopards are led by the so-called warriors who spend all day sitting on their arses. Marston is too old. Inspector, he reads books. As for the wolves, everyone knows that Brendan is weak. If thou dost ask me, he spends too much time playing stud and not enough with his sword and axe. Betrayed. So maybe I should keep my own counsel, but I'm not the quiet type. The Fawn Tower was betrayed. How else did the goblins surprise the entire patrol? Astrid was no fool. Someone betrayed her. Traitor. Whoever betrayed Astrid's patrol must have been a knight. No one else could have done it. The bears suspect Craig the Provisioner of being involved. But the wolves deny it. Of course. So, ooh. So, Craig the Provisioner may have been the traitor. Important thing to pick up there. Someone should question that weakling and see if he is guilt can be proven. Uh, let's ask about trainer. Yes, I am a trainer. I specialize in making men out of boys. Strength is the key. Once that is gained, I then turn to emphasizing the fundamentals of combat. But thou should ask me of this another time. Come to the list field at noon, any day, and I shall be happy to train thee. Tis at the south end of town, and is where all the knights go to fight in tournaments and improve their fighting skills. Well, goodbye. I'm not usually so talkative to an outsider. Thou shalt not find many in this town who welcome strangers. A word of advice. If thou desires to be accepted a monitor, thou shouldst consider taking the test of knighthood. If thou art not a knight, then thou art nothing. Test of knighthood. Glad to see that ye have some spirit, my boy. Knighthood is what divides the real men from the weak-willed boys. To become a knight of Monitor, thou must first ask permission of the Lord of Monitor. Then thou must journey to the dungeon called Knight's Test. If thou canst survive that ordeal, then thou canst receive thy knighthood. The ordeal. Fiery explosions, wild animals, puzzles to queer the mind, and mysteries beyond the understanding of mortals. Well, perhaps I exaggerate some. The test is difficult, and many have died. But if thou dost know the secret of the dungeon, the quest is not so hard. After all, most monitorians take the test when they are 15 years of age. Young Cantra will take it soon. With training, thou canst succeed. Uh, location. It's located in the mountains just north of the city. You can easily find it by taking the Serpent Highway north, then following the first trail leading west. A sign points the way. There have also been many gobs in the area, so beware. A knighthood. When thou hast completed the test, then there will be a great banquet held for thee. Thou shalt receive thy tattoo, and shalt wear the pelt of thy totem animal. But we can discuss this upon thy return. Thou dost have the courage to take the test of knighthood. Uh, secrets. I'll give thee three clues. The first chamber, speed is the clue. Do not look back, or you'll be a goner. Later on, seek that which cannot be seen, and may be hard to find. To overcome, thou must find the claw and the urn of Gernadur. Use the claw to draw thy blood, then mix the blood with the ashes in the urn, and thy fate shall be made known. Okay, okay. Put this. I have a little section over the test for when we talk to that girl outside. Um, so we need to find claw and urn. Use claw. Whoop can't type today use claw to draw blood then mix with the ashes in the urn got it uh cantra i'm surprised it does not know of the girl she hath a bright curiosity and is always pestering visitors cantra is the daughter of the town healer harma i'm guessing that's yeah it must be harma 
looks just like the word her. Why it would be lowercase, I don't know. Her father hath been missing for many weeks. She doth favor him, very proud, very ambitious, and eager for her knighthood. Uh, Schmed. He is the keeper of the knight's test. Schmed is a wolf, and if thou dost ask me, he hath gone soft. Hardly ever seen him in the list field. I have no use for him, but he doth do a fair job of administering the test. Uh, change our subject again. Oh, and we're done. All right, so we have had our little dialogue talk. It looks as though we will be unable to do much more until we happen to become a knight. So what I'm thinking we need to do is we need to probably um, look at... Uh, we'll call this Approaching Monitor still. Um, we need to look at finding our buddy YOLO, who is in a jail. Um, so that's on our list of things. Let's take a look here. At uh, Here we go. So, we're up here. Here we are. Here's the crematorium. Let's see. Does this look like a jail to you? That looks like it might be a jail. That doesn't look like a jail. I'm just looking to see. I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm guessing this is maybe the jail, would be my guess. So what I think we need to do next episode is we'll probably do a tour of the town, like check in all the houses and find out what's going on everywhere. Uh, maybe we can figure out where YOLO is. I mean, do we do that first, or do we go become a knight first? Uh, like, if we go up this road... Oh, no. Uh, how would the file be corrupted? How... That doesn't make sense. How is the file corrupted? It, you just had it open. Why is the Photos app in Windows so terrible? That I don't get it. I don't get how the Photos app can be so awful. Um, so, get back in here. So, um, maybe, like, if we go up here, here's the road. Here's that little, they said go west, go up this, and then go here. This is probably where Schmed lives. And then we can go do whatever the quest is for this big old dungeon. So... We might have to do the test of monitor first. Actually, I think that's what we'll do first. So we'll head all the way over here, head north, now that we have to pray with us. Um, yeah, so we'll check on YOLO, and then we'll do the test of knighthood. We'll probably have to be a knight to get him out. So that's kind of our plan. Um, we'll be looking at for next episode. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.